Hello Leia users and welcome to the 8th Leia video tutorial. We have gone over quite a few things, all of which can be done with the free Leia plan. And we have referenced a few of the extensions of those things that can be done when you upgrade to Leia Pro. So Leia Pro is the first premium plan that we offer and it's $6.99 a month or $59.99 a year and this is in US dollars and the annual price breaks down to about $4.99 a month and you have a, a week-long free trial during that time if you decide you don't want to keep your website or you would like to just go with the free one you can cancel and you won't be charged so it's risk-free and if you want to check out the different plans that are offered you can click this upgrade button next to your website and it'll pull up this table with all the different offerings and it's just taking a little while to load okay and which plans offer which of those offerings right so you're always gonna get a custom website we host all websites for free there's never any Leia ads on your page right a lot of other website builders will have free plans but they'll throw their logo on it for you we don't do that you can always use the dashboard just so long as you create an account which is obviously free which means you can do e-commerce and booking on the free plan the first thing that you can't do is use a custom domain name right so we went over how to change domains to a custom you know dot com dot net dot org etc that's something you'll need to upgrade for premium content that's what we're going to go over today we'll have a video later on on how to integrate google adsense into your website as well as how to edit the html we mentioned in the last video that you can add comments to your blog posts if you have a premium plan. We always take care of our users, but those who have upgraded do receive slightly premium support versus those who have not. And you can have unlimited pages on your website when you upgrade to Leia Business as well as SEO improvements uh, and access to analytics. So again, we're going to go over some Leia Pro. Whoop. Leia Pro specific things today and Leia business specific things later on. But like I said, you always have that one week free trial where you can cancel. Uh, anyhow, let's go back to my websites. Okay, and we're going to go to the editor and begin making use of the custom content section. Okay, so here now you can see since this website has been upgraded to Leia Pro that we no longer have that white overlay and the lock icon preventing us from using these buttons. So the edit HTML, CSS, and JavaScript buttons can be used to actually edit the code of your web page. So if you do know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can go ahead and mess around with this stuff. We'll show you what all that looks like in a later video, but it's pretty complex, so we're not going to get into it today but we will use this add section button which is really easy and it's very powerful so if you click add section you can start by choosing the number of columns you want in a section so a section is just something like this white white spot we've got here right where you've got you know you've got the arrows and you've got the delete button and all that stuff obviously these aren't on your real web page but you, you know you can add images and text and buttons and all sorts of things now these sections are broken up into columns and you can have one, two, three, four, or six columns in your section. If you take a look at this white one here, you'll notice that we have two columns. We have an image column and a text column. Okay, so let's show you what it would look like in here. Okay, so we choose two columns. The first col column type can be an image and the second can be text. And if we were to do this, it would look just like this section right here. Then we click next and we can choose the background type for that section if we want it to be a color or if we want it to be an image. And then we can choose the text color for that section as well. Okay, so we can be pretty, let's, let's get creative with it. We're gonna go with a red text color and a background color of hmm, blue. All right, and as, if you recall, we had two columns, one image and one text. If I click Next, now I can scroll through the page and use one of these Insert buttons to choose the place I want to insert that section. So I'm going to choose one at random. 
All right, so boom, there's my new section with the blue background and the red text and the image. And just like any other image on our page, we can click on it to change it with this browse button here. So I'm going to search for golf because I like golf. Let's see what we've got. All right, that's a cool image. We're going to use that. And then we can change the text to whatever we want. All right, and update it. Okay, so that's how easy it is to edit or add a section. Now, you can't go in and change the background of this section unless it were an image, in which case you could click on it like you do any other image background. Uh, and you can't edit the text color. If you did want to redo this and you had typed a lot of stuff in and you didn't want to have to redo that, you can just copy it, right? Delete the section and then add it back in with the, with the add section button again, okay? Um, so let's go over some of the other column types. So we have text, image, those are the ones we just used, and then button. So that would add a button. We can choose the, the actually, we'll, we'll just show you by, or explain it by showing you. So if I select that I want the column type to be a button, I can choose the text of the button. So let's say, you know, let's say I want to link somebody to my Facebook page. So I'm going to say Facebook. Okay. And let's do HTTPS Facebook.com. And the background color for the button, let's make it blue. Eh, we just did blue. We'll do green. And the text color we'll leave as white. Okay, and then just like before, we can choose the background that we want. I'm going to make it an image this time. And the text color, we don't have any actual text outside of the button. So this is irrelevant in this particular case. So we can just leave it as red. And then press next and insert it into the page. Okay, so now we have this background image. All right, so I'm going to click on that, and if I wanted to update it to that golf photo that we had already selected, click Update Image, and it updates. Right, It's really small. Right, We just have this one button in here, but I can make it bigger by clicking on that button. Now I can edit the link, but I'm going to say no for now, and change the font size, Right, and it'll make that button bigger, which makes the section bigger. And this button itself, if we were in the live website, if I clicked it, would take me to Facebook.com. Okay, so that's another column type. Now let's check out the next one. The next one is the iframe. Okay, so an iframe is a way for you to inject code or some sort of content from another web page in your web page. Okay, so this is really helpful for adding things like YouTube videos or a form from HubSpot or something like that. So if you were to go to YouTube.com, and I'll show you how that works right now. Actually, let's go to our Leia tutorial video one. And we'll embed this in the page. Okay. All right, we're going to pause that. So, down at the bottom, you should have a button that says share, right? And other, other video services will have something similar to this. It won't obviously look exactly like YouTube, but you'll be able to do exactly what we're doing here for, say, a Vimeo video as well. All right, so you click share. And you're going to want to click on this embed button. What this does is it gives you this iframe code. So if I copy this code, oh, copy, all right, copy to clipboard, and I go back to the website, I can enter the iframe code here. All right, and I want to enter it exactly like I copied it. Then press next, and we'll make the color, let's make this one look a little bit better. We're going to do a text color. There's, again, no text on the page. Background color of white and then click next. Now let's insert it right here. All right, and there's our video. So that's how you add videos from YouTube uh, or, or any other service, right? It's pretty simple and you know, th this, is, this is as good as it gets right here. So again, remember that as I make these changes, if I want this to be in my live site, I have to press save changes. All right, so I'm gonna click save changes. Okay, and then uh, once this loads, we'll click View Live Site. Oh, let me do it right away. Okay, so now if I scroll down, I'll see the sections that I added. A little slow. There we go. So there's the iframe, and if I click on it, it's a real YouTube video that I can watch in my website.
pretty sweet. So that's how you would add an iframe. Now let's check out the other section types. And remember, right now for, for these last two examples, I've had one column in the section. If I wanted some text next to a YouTube video, I could do two and then make the first column type text and then makes the second one an iframe, right? But we already did an iframe, so let's just, I'm gonna walk through these one by one and not mix and match things. So the next one is an icon with a link. So if I wanted to add an icon to my page that linked me somewhere like a button, then I could use this. Now it's going to ask the icon that I, or excuse me, the URL that I want the user to be linked to and then click on the icon. So I'm going to type in facebook.com again. Okay. And leave all that stuff the same. Oh, actually, I think it's going to, let's, okay. So there's our icon. That's the default icon that it's going to give us, but just like any other icon on the page, we can click on it and then choose a different one from this list. So since it's going to facebook.com, I want to use the Facebook icon. Okay, so I, there's obviously a couple here. I'm going to do this one. All right. Now, if I were to save and then view my live site and scroll down, this button or this icon right here will take me to facebook.com. Right, pretty cool. So that's just another way you can link your website or link from your website. Uh, anyhow, let's go to the next section type. Wow, this is a long video. Okay, next one is uh, icon with text. So this will be an icon with some text below it. And we'll leave all that stuff the same and insert it right here. Right, so now we've got the icon then some text. This looks pretty similar to the features in the feature section. Again, you know, you can edit it whatever you want, update it, you get it. Okay, and then let's go to the last type here. All right, and the last type is the standalone icon. So that's just a regular icon that doesn't have any text with it and that doesn't link you anywhere, right? So just, just a standard looking icon. And again, just like everything else, oh, I got to insert it. We can click on it and change it. All right, so that's it for this video. I know it was kind of long, but um, that explains how you can add customized sections to your page. The main and most complex part of this video has been adding YouTube videos, and I hope we were able to simplify that process for you. And any other service that you use that you want to integrate into your website, there's a good chance that they'll have an iframe that you can use just like we did with YouTube. But thank you very much for tuning in to this video, and we hope you check out the next one, which is going to be on integrating Google AdSense into your web page.